In this video, I'm going to make my case that this is the moment Apple needs to bring back bootcamp to Apple Silicon Max. Let's get to it. First, I'm going to give you a quick history of what Bootcamp is for those who are not familiar with Mac. Bootcamp was first introduced for Mac OS X Leopard, providing users with an Intel Mac to create a partition of the hard disk and install an alternate operating system. This was a great option since there are apps that only work with Windows, for example, and allowing users to natively run Windows or any other oper operating system supported was a great idea. When Apple transitioned to Apple Silicon, Bootcamp was removed. The only alternative to running an alternate operating system was using an app like, for example, Parallels. However, this created a virtual machine, meaning you could not utilize the full processing power or graphics power of your actual computer. This was alternative was also available for Intel Macs, and its selling point was that it was safer to run than Bootcamp since any viruses would not affect your computer in most cases. And here we get to the subject of the video. It is my opinion that now is the best time for Apple to announce that it will bring back the Bootcamp feature. I understand this is not entirely in their hands, but considering recent move by Microsoft and Qualcomm, the implementation and execution of the Snapdragon X Elite processors by Qualcomm signal that Microsoft will be taking ARM seriously and it will have to make it as good a version as the x86 for Windows. Will Windows provide support for uh, drivers for Apple Silicon computers? My opinion is that maybe. Microsoft is now making their own computers and some people may think this will cannibalize the sales of those computers. However, I don't think that is the case. Microsoft is primarily a software company and including Macs is in their best interest. Many people would pay for a key to own a genuine Microsoft operating system and apps on their Mac. Not to mention if a company can save by having to buy just one computer that can do the job with Bootcamp, trust me, they will. Not to mention, Parallels is not free. Parallels has a cost, and this cost, in my opinion, is kind of steep. It's either $140 or $120 yearly. It's not just pay it once. Yearly and per computer. So imagine companies that need to have their employees be able to handle more than one operating system. Most of them are probably preferring to just buy uh, parallels or something similar, but they have to pay basically a subscription in order to be able to do that. The other option would be buying a new Windows computer. Uh, but if Apple goes ahead and brings back Bootcamp, this would save companies a lot of money. I know my case has flaws. Apple introduced both Intel Max and the Bootcamp feature at the same time, which was not the case with Apple Silicon. However, my defense is that Microsoft had no reason to take ARM-based operating systems seriously since Apple was basically the only one doing it. Now that Qualcomm has introduced a comparable chip with the Snapdragon X Elite, Microsoft has no choice but to make Windows for ARM as good as the x86 version if they want to remain a serious competitor in the laptop market. Before I finish this video, the reviews are coming in and what the Snapdragon X Elite is doing is really impressive. The performance is on par and in some cases even better than Apple Silicon in many areas. This can only be good for us as consumers, although I am a little concerned with the power draw from the X Elite. This is their first generation, so I'm not going to hold it against them. And I'm sure they will get better with time and with smaller chip architecture. 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? I think that this is an obvious move for Windows. I understand that they make their own computers, but this is basically an obvious move. Giving Bootcamp will increase your sales of Windows Genuine product licenses. And you're a software company at heart. So for me, this is a no-brainer. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. While you're down there, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. The only way to do that is if you sign in with your Gmail account to either uh, to YouTube, either on your app or your favorite browser on youtube.com. Search for us at JRA Rams Tech is the only way to leave that like that is very important and very much appreciated. As always, we're available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and obviously YouTube at J.R. Abrams Tech so you can stay up to date with the latest news and rumors about tech. Until next time.